Traditionally, uh, and certainly still in many uh, places in the world, even in Rome, uh, today is the Feast of the Epiphany, the 12th day of Christmas. And by the way, uh, that will cost your true love $34,131 if they give you all the gifts bought in today's economy. Liturgically, uh, now we celebrate it on the Sunday after New Year's Day. It's a solemn feast day because Epiphany proclaims that Christ, by his life, death, and resurrection, came to save all men and women uh, by, and not just, a select few. Christ is about universal salvation. That salvation is offered freely in love uh, by his sacrifice on the cross, and in hope by his resurrection, and in a promise to always be with us by the Holy Spirit. All God asks of us in return, in our freedom, is to love God back. So given the readings assigned today, the question posed is simple. Do I love God? No, seriously. Without reverting to a rote automatic answer, Deeply and honestly, do I love God? Put another way, do I love the idea of loving God, or do I actually love God? Or is my love based on fear? Love is from our will, fear is from our weakness. If I want to say, yes, I love God, then I must ask myself, what grounds my love of God? And there are many, many possibilities. It could be pure nurture. That's the way that I was raised. It could be miracles, like feeding 5,000 or walking on water, uh, as noted in today's gospel. Or it could be a faith that wells up deep within us and has transformed our childlike faith and belief into a challenging adult relationship with Jesus. Moreover, the question raised as well is whether I am afraid to love God. It's not easy. Look at the criteria that John lists today in his short letter. First, love of God means love of another. Do I really love other people? Second, remain in God. In our daily life, am I aware of God's presence with me? Third, testify to Jesus, being a witness in my thoughts and words and actions every day. Fourth, having confidence on the day of judgment. If I died today, would I be confident standing before the judgment seat of God? And five, do not fear. Back to the fear point, John puts it so comforting and consoling, there is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear. So how can we love better? Letting go and letting God lead us, surrendering ourselves to God's will, sacrificing my wants for another's needs, and in this year of mercy, certainly practicing the corporal and spiritual works of mercy. And above all, trusting in God who loves us so much that we never need fear God. Today, on this 12th day of Christmas, if there are drummers drumming, it's because of their joy in the God who saves the whole world. So let us be grateful and gather around the Eucharistic table today, proclaiming our faith, hope, and love in the God who loves us, the God who saves us. There is no need of fear. Thank God.